If you're it's Ellie, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a super exciting one because today is the beginning of the Sephora VIB sale and I don't know about you, but I love those sales because 20% off, who doesn't want that, especially at Sephora. So I went to Sephora this morning, made my purchases and I got my uh, little bag gift with purchase. So I wanted to share with you what's inside. Obviously that's the important part, right? So. I have actually purchased quite a few things that uh, were like favorites that I was running out of or I needed a backup. So some of these you will already have seen on my channel. Actually, let me know if you want me to do a video about like makeup effort purchase because I feel like those are the best things to learn from other YouTubers. I love when someone mentions that they've repurchased a product X amount of time because you know that if they have repurchased it a couple of times, they actually really, really love it. So let me know if you would be uh, interested in that because that sounds like a really good idea. I'm actually going to be uh, linking a video that I've done mentioning all my all-time favorite products from Sephora. So if you need more recommendations or going to sell, I highly recommend you check that video out. I'm also planning a bunch of videos this week that will be relevant, so I will be putting them in the description box as soon as they're up. So the first thing is actually something I have repurchased, and you're probably tired of me talking about it, but it's the Lancome Tiny Dove Foundation. And I don't want to be without this foundation. This is technically a backup because I'm currently using one that's what I'm wearing today. And I purchased this pretty recently because I had run out of the first one. So this is basically a backup, but 20% off. I mean, you might as well, because I know I'm going to go through this within the next couple of months. So it's always nice to have a backup. I just literally don't want to be like one day without this. So I needed to get a backup. So I did that. I don't know about you, but I'm still totally all about highlighters, but I like natural highlighters that I can wear on a daily basis that aren't like gonna blind my coworkers and not too glittery or frosty. And when I saw this one by Cover Effects, this one is in the color Moonlight. I knew I needed to get it. I have to admit, the packaging is not really that cute. And this is what it looks like. And I feel like it depends, like if I do this, you can see the real color. And I feel like it looks dark-ish, but when you swatch it, you can see that it's uh, pretty light. And what I loved about it is how natural it looks. Like you can see, oh, you can see. Whew, I was worried you wouldn't be able to tell on camera, but it just gives you a really nice natural glow. It's not shimmery, it's not glittery. So I can wear this on a daily basis without feeling like it's too much. I decided to try this one. Let me know if you have uh, tried the Cover FX highlighters because I feel like I don't hear a lot of people mention them and I feel like it looks really pretty. So I cannot wait to actually try this on my face. I'm kind of already wearing a highlighter, but you know what? We're just gonna pile it on. You can kind of tell I'm wearing a pretty natural one, but let's see how this one looks like on my face. I mean, I was already wearing some, but you can kind of tell how gorgeous that is. It's so natural, but like still pretty intense. Like that's a really nice glow. Okay, so far so good. <laughs> Oh, the next one. Okay, I feel like it's gonna be kind of boring to talk about, but trust me, I'm into it. <laughs> Recently, I did a video all about like boring looking blushes and where they're basically the best thing that's ever happened to me. Very dramatic, I know, but trust me, you need to watch this video if you haven't. But I feel like people tend to overlook boring looking blushes because they're boring looking. But in my opinion, they're always the best looking ones, always. I feel like they just save my life on a daily basis whenever I don't know what to wear or when I'm trying to do my makeup look and sometimes it's hard to uh, make sure your eye makeup is going to match with your cheeks and lips and lips is kind of easy to change but like cheek is much harder. So I shared in that video a bunch of my favorite ones and the one that was recommended to me probably the most is this one from Clinique. This is their Cheek Pop Blush in Nude Pop. and. I had yet to try one of these. Actually, I haven't tried it yet, so technically I have yet to try one. And it's one of those that most people would probably overlook because, let's be real, it looks kind of boring, although the design on it is gorgeous. I had been dying to try these, and now that I have it, I kind of feel bad even touching it. It's way too pretty, which is probably why I never got one. But I feel like it's gonna take a while for it to look like used or something. And it seems to be like a light beigey peach. That's like the weirdest description, but that's kind of what it looks like. A nude peachy color and doesn't seem to be overly pigmented, which is perfect. I prefer blushes that aren't overly pigmented. I feel like on YouTube, especially people are like, the more pigmented, the better quality the product is, but realistically, not always the case. And I feel like it just makes my life so much harder with eyeshadows or like cheap product when they're too pigmented because 
it's such a biatch to try and blend. But this seems like it's going to be absolutely perfect. It's pretty light, especially because winter's coming. So, um, <laughs> Game of Thrones. <laughs> so I feel like I'm going to become uh, more and more into lighter blushes. So this seemed like a gorgeous option. Actually, let me know what your favorite uh, cheeky, not cheeky, cheek pop <laughs> blushes from uh, Clinique are because I was looking at them and they looked all really pretty. But the testers were like all destroyed, so I kind of didn't really want to swatch them too much. But this color came back home with me. I'm very happy with it. Cannot wait to play with it. Ooh. Okay, I basically, this is not how the shadows came, but <laughs> I just put them all in a palette so I could show you. But I decided to finally, finally try the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows. And there were so many, I was so overwhelmed and there was like a lot of people. So I grabbed a couple and I just want to test the quality of them before purchasing more. Let me know your favorite shades, by the way, because I'm most likely gonna be purchasing more, but I'm gonna quickly show you the one that I have and I should probably place them in order or something. So, from the lightest to the darkest, I got the color Blanc, which is a white color. Nude, because obviously no palette is complete without a nude color. Warm Taupe, because I just, I mean, there's a team here. You can see that it's like mostly Cool tone, a few warm tone in there. Fawn, which is just that classic little warm uh, light brown. Dusty Rose, which is just like that type of color that I absolutely love and need at all time in my crease. I feel like every single time a palette has a color like this, I'm like, yes, mine, I need to own it. <laughs> I'm realizing that I didn't get a lot of like super shimmery shadow for my lids, so again, recommendation please. But this one needed to come home with me because look at this, this is the color rose. I got a shimmery taupe color in the color topaz and then a few darker shades for like the outer V type of color. Uh, I have ash brown which is a cool tone brown. I have morocco which is just like that cult favorite reddish brown. And last but not least I have beauty mark which is just that perfect like brownie eggplant type of color which I mean during the fall this type of color is always calling my name so I cannot wait to actually start playing with these. So my palette is still pretty empty, so I have space for more shades. So if you have any favorites, please leave them in the uh, comment section because obviously I'm realizing now that I got like really a team right now, which I mean, those are basically the colors I tend to gravitate towards, but I feel like I'm lacking like a darker like brown that isn't overly like cool. So I'm gonna have to uh, check more out. So when I came home, I had to play with everything because I don't have self-control. It's makeup, I need to swatch everything. I mean. I think we can all agree on that. It just, you get home, you sit down on the floor and you play with everything. That's just how it works. And I realized that, I don't know if I was like still half asleep or if it's the lighting in the store, but there's two things that I got. I'm not sure about the colors, so I might have to exchange them, but I have been looking at the Bobbi Brown bronzers forever. My skin used to be super sensitive to absolutely everything, including corn and there is corn in there. So it would have broken me out. So I never purchased it, but now I'm okay and I wanted to test it. I was super excited, but I did grab the wrong color. So I'm like, eee, this look way too dark. Like, dude. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think that's gonna match me. They are pretty, like, I was gonna say lightweight. I mean, it's pretty sheer. So like, I could possibly try it. If I swatch it, you can see. Like, it seems to be like super easy to blend, which I really like the consistency. Like, you know what I mean? Like when I swatch it like this and blend it, it doesn't actually look that dark. So I think I might play with it a couple times and decide if I want to go and get the lightest one because this was not in the right place and I was in a hurry. I was like, just give me all my makeup and let me go. So the only thing I'm, I'm realizing now that it's one of those compact that you can't fully open, which why you do this to us? Like, why? It is practical if you're doing your makeup and you're putting it like this, but come on. I don't know why it annoys me a little bit. So <laughs> I will be testing it out. I will let you know if I end up looking like a Hoompa Loompa or if I can actually uh, make it work, but it's surprisingly like blendable like crazy. So this might actually work. And this color seems cool tone enough. I feel like sometimes bronzers can be a little too orangey or like shimmery and everything when you actually get home so because let's be real when you're at sephora my hands are already full of glitter so i can't tell if anything has glitter at one point but the color is really pretty maybe i might actually be able to make it work the next one is probably even worse i swear it's the lighting okay it looked semi okay but really 
girl, that's not your shade. Uh, I've been curious to try the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. The names are getting longer and longer, I swear. So I've been wanting to test this foundation. And when you see the color, you're gonna laugh because, girl, <laughs> girl. Uh, I don't think it's my shade. <laughs> I thought it looked okay in store. It looked much closer in the store. And like even the box look, that looks like my color, but. <laughs> so I might need to go and exchange for the lightest shade because it's 2.1, like it shouldn't be that dark. Anyway, I might like self then one day and apply this, test the formula and then exchange for a color if I like it or just return it if I don't. But what happened to me? Basically the weather has been changing a lot and it's getting colder and colder and my skin is oily but it's also dehydrated. So I feel like sometimes uh, something that's a little bit more uh, moisturizing although long wearing can be nice. So I wanted to test this. Have you tried this? Do you like it? Because I... I'm curious, but that's good, probably gonna be a fail. That day I'm gonna stay home for sure when I test it. <laughs> another repurchase because absolutely every time that there's a sale, I need to pick up another one of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. This one is in the color Granite. I kind of go in between uh, medium brown and granite. Currently I'm wearing granite today and my brows are looking a little cray cray, but ooh, it's basically what I'm wearing on my brows. This is such a lifesaver. I just don't wanna be without this. It's so beginner friendly or just like, friendly for anyone. I feel like I never overdo or like mess up my brows whenever I use this. So obviously a must have. I needed to get that back up. Another backup that I needed to get because I just finished this eyeliner and I told myself I wasn't going to purchase more eyeliners because I have a bunch that I need to test. But I just used up one so I'm like I needed to get it back in my life. It's the Clinique one which again so underrated. You're gonna see this in an underrated video super soon because I never hear anyone mention this eyeliner and it's amazing. I don't get it. So this one is the Pretty Easy Liquid Eyelining Pen in the color uh, 01 Black. It's the one I'm wearing right now, but I am wearing falsies. By the way, I attempted to do my makeup in an order that was like just not natural today. <laughs> I went in the store just wearing mascara and then I tried to do my eye makeup and eyeliner at the end and it was just such a mess. So do not recommend. <laughs> This is what the packaging looks like. Obviously, all eyeliners kind of look the same, but I like how easy it is to apply it. I know it's in the name, but seriously, it just slides on so easily. I feel like my issue with the Kat Von D one, which I do like how precise it is, but I feel like half the time I try to apply it and just kind of skips or like, I feel like the uh, tip tends to glue itself to the eyeliner that's already on my eye. And it just like, I don't know, it just doesn't slide easily for me. Even though I like tried to store it like this and blah, blah, blah. It just never ends up uh, doing what I want it to do. But this one, I have no problem applying it. And I just really like it. This is what it looks like. You can see it's a very dark eyeliner. It does have a little bit of a shine though. For some reason, it's so hard to find like a matte black eyeliner. But I would rather have one that I like that has a little bit of a shine than uh, struggling and trying all the other ones. <laughs> I really like this one, totally recommend it. It's also cheaper than a lot of other ones, so it's good. I needed to repurchase it. Last but not least, I got a bunch of products in what I call the Isle of Doom because every single time I'm there waiting to pay my purchases, but really I'm not. I'm there to just get all the little like minis and all the gift sets, which I'm actually planning a video that's gonna go up this weekend all about my favorite gift sets and minis at Sephora because they're coming out with so many amazing minis and I just they're tiny they're adorable and I just need to own them all and it's just a good excuse to like test a bunch of products because obviously I'm not gonna go through a whole highlighter so why not get a mini size like it's perfect so that's my excuse <laughs> so I got a couple uh smaller size products because I could not resist let me know if you also do that like literally I don't know one person that isn't sucked in into buying one of those sample size and minis like I don't know how you do it because I can't the first thing is a lip product because obviously in mini size the best thing to get is obviously the lipsticks because you can get so many colors and I have yet to try any of the uh, nude sticks products in general and obviously a nude kit I just could not resist. I really wanted to test the formula of these and the packaging is what it looks like. Oh my god, can I open this? The struggle is real, I'm telling you. How do you open this? There you go. I just want to play with the lipsticks. Like, why won't you let me? Ooh, I was like, what is that? But it's actually the uh, the sharpener. 
good to know. I was really confused what that thing was with the lipsticks. <laughs> okay, so there's obviously three colors. I'm gonna be teleporting you into a future when I'm not struggling with trying to open these with my tweezers. Ah, the magic of editing. So I have opened all three, so I'm gonna be swatching them so you can see the colors because they looked way too pretty to not come home with me. Like, look at this. I mean, can a girl ever have too many new lipsticks? Clearly the answer is no for me. The first one is called Belle, which she's my favorite uh, Disney princess, so clearly. Wow, okay, this is absolutely perfect. I need to apply this like right now. I'm just gonna swatch the other one, and then I'm probably gonna switch my lipstick for Belle. This one is Purity. Well, shoot, maybe I need Purity. They look similar. I feel like every time I swatch new lipstick, I resolve to the same excuse of saying they are the same but different. <laughs> Does anybody know where that's from? Uh, and the last one is called Pixie. So basically Pixie is a light, like beige nude. Purity is a little bit more mauve -y than Belle. This one you can probably tell, but I'm just throwing it out there. So Purity needs to be on my lips like now. I swatched a couple lipstick yesterday for a uh, video that's coming up and I swear the day after, I don't know where the lines of my lips are anymore. They're like swollen and just wonky. <laughs> so I feel like I always end up with like crooked lipstick the next day. It's all worth it, so don't judge me. It does look really pretty. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of bed in the middle just to, you know, any excuse to wear more than one lipstick. Okay, I really like them. They don't fully match with my eye makeup, but I mean, I don't care. I really like the formula so far. They're really comfortable, they're creamy. They probably have like a satiny finish type thing. But I feel like they're probably going to become uh, more and more matte as the day goes on. But first impression, they applied really nicely. So, very happy with it. I just realized that there's actually a little mirror in the uh, cap, so they will go back in there. I'll keep you updated, but so far, I really like them. The colors are perfect. And I like when a lipstick is not overly drying because you can actually mix. And three nudes like this, you can certainly like find your perfect nude in there, mixing them together. So, very happy with them. Oh, they do say matte. Three Intense Matte Shade. They are pigmented. It's like a really creamy lip planner, basically. That's awesome. I have been needing in my life some help because my hair, I don't know if you've been able to tell, but it's so staticky. It's like that time of the year and my coat and sweaters, they're just making it worse. So my hair is driving me crazy. And I saw this baby bottle in the Isle of Doom of the American Oil uh, Treatment. And this one is the light version. And I remember using this, not the light version, but I remember having a little bottle like this and I really liked it. Plus it smelled delicious, so I kind of want to wear some right now because my hair needs it. That scent really grows on you, so I'm just gonna apply a little bit because my hair has been going crazy. Hopefully it's gonna calm down all my baby hair because they've been going at it all day. And now my hair smells amazing. So if you have been looking for help because again, winter, sweaters, coats, toque, scarves we all need a little help so it's perfect to get the small bottle because honestly this is going to last me forever and you don't have to commit to a huge one so very happy to have that back this one i was not even planning on getting like ever but i got sucked in i saw it it looked really pretty and i was curious to actually try it so i grabbed the tart tartiest uh pro glow to go palette i was kind of scared when i saw uh, the packaging like the bronzer looks really really dark for me but i opened that one and i realized it's actually not that dark so let me just show you like look at the difference in color like the bronzer is like much lighter so i think this could actually work for me so the highlighters are really really creamy and the bronzer is really really smooth so so far good impression the second uh, highlighter does look a little too yellow for my taste so i will see maybe if i mix them together when i'm a little darker than right now but I will be playing with this and I will let you know how it goes. I feel like the middle highlighter seems a little like chunkier a little, so a little chalky, that's the word I've been looking for, but I really like the first one. Like it's absolutely gorgeous, a very intense, but like a very pale intense highlighter. The bronzer, I feel like the color is good, but I'm not sure how well it blends. I'll have to try it. I feel like the uh, Bobbi Brown one that is like not my shade probably will work better. The next thing I got sucked into buying is a loose powder, which I have been wanting to test the Kat Von D um, setting powder. And I don't want to commit to a full size because I have already too many loose powders, but I do have oily skin now. So I do go through them like, look, like I barely have any left. So kind of my way of justifying it is that it's a small one. 
It was way too cute in the aisle. I just needed to test it, the Locket setting powder. So those are the things I picked up in store. Let me know if you want to see a, a whole video about the ones I've purchased online. Sephora finally decided to fix their system. For some reason, their system would not let me order anything online. All my orders would be canceled. And I literally had to call like five times for it to be finally fixed. So I have an order coming. And actually let me in the comment section what you are planning on getting or what you think I should get during the Sephora sale because I'll probably pick up more things because you know, you watch haul videos, you just get sucked into buying more things and yay, more makeup. So that's it guys, this was my Sephora haul. I will be putting on the screen some other videos recommending uh, my all time favorite products from Sephora and then other relevant videos. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, it helps other people find it. Don't forget to subscribe because you don't want to miss any future videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye.